Hello, good afternoon. Let's look at more technical side of externalities. And so in the last clip, um, we we're thinking about what an externality is, an external effect based on production. And a great example of this is these great Pacific garbage patch, which is uh, plastic products ending up out in the ocean. The birds are picking it up, uh, fish are eating it, and it's ending up back here. Okay, well, let's say uh, that we could either switch to boxes or uh, you know they, they developed some kind of technology that would break down um, the the plastic so that it wouldn't go in the ocean and, and uh, cause such a mess right so what would this look like okay so there's some kind of um, market here for um, get rid of that one for water bottles, right? And in uh, Tucson, you know, equilibrium price probably about 50 cents, right? So 50 cents, there's this equilibrium and there's this quantity that we can find out, whatever that happens to be, right? And in a more expensive area, that equilibrium might be a little bit higher or whatever. So here's the, the water bottles that are made out of plastic. Okay, I always want to label your graph there. Um, and so let's say that this additional cost uh, could be provided for a uh, dollar each, right? So to produ produ produce this amount of quantity, we would have to go up to a dollar fifty, okay? And let's say that that's right here. Okay, I should probably use a different color here just because I can. So we use this red color here. Okay, so this is the additional cost. Uh, which is also the cost of it ending up in the in the uh, bird's stomach and so on and so forth. Now, additionally, if I were to produce a little bit more, now that distance here is still going to be a dollar, right? So, uh, as the price goes up, I'll produce more, but that dollar increase is still going to be there. Right? So, I've got this segment of the new supply curve. So, this is supply plus whatever that new technology is or maybe I'm putting water in boxes or something like that right now as I produce less as I go below Q star there's a zero there as I go back towards the zero the this goes down and so the value above a dollar here also decreases okay and so we end up with this new supply curve which is a decrease over here, okay? And if that dollar is the damage, we have a name for that, okay? And, and at each level, there's an additional cost, okay, that we need to know. And so additional, remember, it comes up again and again in economics. It's a great word, marginal, okay? And this cost here is a cost to society, this extra dollar, okay? So social cost. We have this marginal social cost, which is this additional dollar on every supply level. Okay. And this supply curve really is the marginal. It's the additional cost of producing additional units, but it's the additional private cost. This this cost is internalized by the firms that are selling the water bottles, but then there's this additional dollar that ends up in the bird's stomach, in the fish's um, gullet and it ends up uh, you know, making our way back into our food supply okay so that that's what this looks like right so essentially uh, if you were to draw this any at any time uh, we have okay, that's pretty good so we've got our demand curve and our supply curve oh wow look at that what's going on there um, so I'll draw this with green. This is our regular supply curve. This is our demand curve. So we've got some kind of price, whatever that happens to be. But what what's happening with this negative externality, the firm is not paying the, their amount. So they need to pay this higher amount. And when they do that, it's going to decrease supply at every level, which reflects the externality. So the distance between the supply curve for the marginal private cost and the marginal social cost is the externality. So the distance between here and here, between here and here, between here and here. That's that's what the externality happens to be. So if this is noise from your neighbor's stereo, the dogs barking, uh, the pollution in the uh, 
Aaron Brock Brockovich movie, all of that is internalized here. And economists can measure that, right? It's measuring up the damage, right? Something for courts to, to sort out. So that's what it looks like on a graph and definitely know that relationship, okay? Um, again, here, this is the same thing from coal production. Coal tends to be dirty, uh, you know, has an externality. If you, you go into coal communities, you know, they, they, there's all kinds of impact. Um, you know, you can argue about how much it is, and that's a good debate to have, but there is some kind of debate here, okay? Um, over in England, uh, they see a lot of this, okay? So there's a lot of, a lot of people drinking, getting out of control. Uh, Time Magazine uh, had an article about an epidemic of violence, crime, and drunkenness, right? So Britain is, is really just um, having these, these problems, uh, and this decreases the tourism, okay? Uh, over at Disneyland, happiest place on earth, has, has a lot of positive externalities. You want to be, you want to run a business near there, but it's also a negative externality because there's traffic in Anaheim. Uh, there's the fireworks show every night. Uh, you know, think about that. It might be exciting one time, but over and over and over again, it's going to have that negative externality. Here's uh, we have cigarettes. Now this is where it gets a little confusing. So the cigarette smoke to the smoker is not an externality. The smoker is internalizing the cost of smoking those cigarettes. But the secondhand smoke is where the externality comes from. Right. So secondhand smoke is. Um, so the, the externality there. Uh, I know that none of you use drugs, but people that buy drugs uh, are participating in this market, which has many negative externalities. Drug dealers don't compete based on how good their drugs are uh, or how the quality. They compete by using violence, and often the violence is turned on the communities in Latin America or in the Southwest or really any anywhere uh, that, that drug buying happens. So if you want to reduce uh, negative externalities, make a community a better place, don't buy drugs. Uh, so, you know, back to this circular flow business, you know, consumers are paying money for a product, but there's some other cost that's not being internalized by the, the firm or the consumer. It's a nice little table, kind of gives you, uh, gives you that little framework there. Uh, and so some other examples, we haven't got to them already, air pollution, barking dog, late night stereo, construction projects. And so, you know, this one, um, cities will enact, you know, rules about when, when you can and can't, uh, say, jackhammer a road or run construction projects, right? Uh, so there's secondhand smoke again, and then here's uh, texting and driving, okay, which is a focus of a lot of things. Examples of positive externalities, uh, there's herd immunity, and uh, herd immunity eliminates certain diseases, so we're not as uh, susceptible to them as everybody's vaccinated, it helps out everybody, okay? Uh, research and development, so one company develops something, it's used, uh, readily used, you know, Apple uh, has created a lot of things that other companies have benefited from. Uh, it's a positive externality, they didn't pay Apple for it, uh, for that benefit, um, but there we go. Uh, you know, this education externality, uh, so on and so forth. So I'll quickly go through this. So this is a benefit of a, a flu shot. So there's a $10 benefit for everybody else. So this is the marginal private benefit. And now uh, there's a societal benefit of an additional $10. So what you do is at $40, really society values at 50. At $30, society should value it at 40. At $20, society should value it at 30, okay? Uh, and so there's really this societal uh, demand here, and uh, by this argument, one, one way to deal with this is to subsidize flu shots or, or whatever, the, um, uh, whatever the positive externality is, and that often happens, right? Your education is subsidized by the taxpayers of Pima County. Here's a practice question for you. You can work on that. This is another example, just what it looks like. And... I don't know that I really need to go over these. We, um, we do one thing to notice here is, as the social cost, the marginal social cost is the supply curve is above uh, the old market because it's a higher price. If the if the firm is internalizing the societal cost, they will decrease the market, and so there'll be a loss of of, 
efficiency, but it's to reflect the cost, right? So we won't be producing at this new equilibrium. Our equilibrium quantity will have decreased a little bit, okay? And so that is, oh, no, let's go. One, two more things here. Um, another example here down south of Tucson is Rosemont Copper Mine. We've been arguing about this for a long time. Still not built yet. It's, it's an externality debate that's going on in our community. How to deal with externalities, final thing here, final thoughts here. So, so one, uh, we could uh, cut people's taxes for good behavior through creating positive externalities. We're going to cut your taxes. That's something that happens. We could subsidize uh, behavior. We want to happen more. So there's a lot of subsidies for education, uh, for uh, um, you know having children. There's a subsidy, right, which is, uh, has an effect. Uh, we could just pay people. So they... Various governments will, will just do uh, payoffs, uh, or if you think about your neighbor, if I um, if I don't want the dog to bark, I could offer to pay uh, some kind of amount to uh, uh, you know, fix the windows or the or whatever um, for them. So direct some direct payment. Uh, establishing private property rights, pretty interesting one. So to prevent over lobstering in in Australia. The uh, Australian government set up private property rights, and so everybody has their own private property for the lobster. And uh, what happens is they take better care of it, and uh, this has helped uh, decrease the negative externality of overfishing. On the negative side, to uh, punish folks, I just uh, do a fine. Uh, I could put people in prison. The Exxon Valdez uh, tanker pilot, uh, he, uh, he went to jail. So it was a famous case uh, up in Alaska, the big oil oil spill, and uh, he ended up going to prison. I could ban the behavior. So various governments have banned leaded gas, uh, freon, other toxic materials, asbestos. Um, it's also possible. I could regulate it, so I'd allow a certain amount of it, uh, whatever we deem societally important. And then finally, uh, my favorite one is social expectations uh, with our, well, really, going back to a lot of what consumers just don't buy the product or they pressure firms to act in a more responsible way. McDonald's used to use styrofoam in a lot of their packaging and they stopped that after societal ex society expected them to use better packaging that wasn't as hard on the environment. There have been lots of cases like this uh, where in social media uh, firms have changed their behavior uh, based on what their customers or potential customers think that they should do. So these are some ways to resolve these externality issues. Thank you.